Hello, my name is Miles Briney, and today I'll be taking you through this week's question and answer session from us here at Innova. Thanks for watching. Okay, so this week's question is, what is the process for creating an exploded view? Okay, so if I just flip into SolidWorks. Okay, so I've got this torch here and I need to create an exploded view for it. So the first thing I tend to do when I want to create an exploded view is go to the configuration tab here and just have a look at what configurations there are in here because they are configuration specific when you add these exploded views. And there's many different places you can actually start the view from. So you can either do it here. I tend to do it this way, which is to right click on the actual configuration and go new exploded view. Now, there's two ways you can do it. You can either do a regular straight uh, step, which is to translate and rotate, or you can do a radial step and it kind of pulls things out in one go. I'm just going to use the normal approach for this, this demonstration here. So, simply put, what we do is you just try and move things around. When you go into this state, no mates are actually engaged. So, you're free to pull things around using the triad system. So, if I was to explode it in the way I would can't kind of like assemble it, so if I was to take this and then slide uh, using the triad to slide it back, you do get these this little ruler here to help you push it in the right place. You can select more than two things at once, and if I pull that out, let's say about about there, that'll do. And let's pull then the pin out. So if I select the pin here for this clip, pull it out to about 40. I'll take this view here and then go downwards. Let's go to about 35 on that. And then maybe I'll do the clip here and I'll push that one up. Let's go to about 35 on that also. Now what I might actually want to do at this point is actually do an explode on parts of the head, which is this area here. So what I could do is actually do uh, a multiple selection of items. So if I was to do the reflector here, the outer cover, and then the bulb, and then I do this one, which is called Auto Space Components on Drag, now at the moment this um, bulb is not pointing in any of the either well it's not pointing in the x y or the z direction so if I was to drag it out now it'll look a bit weird point going in this direction here so what I can do is if I was to hold down the alt key and then drag the um, the center of the triad and then select a reference so a datum which will be this edge here I can then move it in that direction so if I was then to drag this out so something like this you can see how it's then rearranging these components as they're pulled out. So it's pulled them out there. They're not quite in the right order I'd expect actually. I kind of want these two to be turned around. So if I go back to this and I take the bulb here and then I drag that and then drop it on the reflector like this, um, it will reorder them. So that looks much better. Okay. Um, again, if I want to go back at some stage and say I've forgotten a step, let's say I want to actually uh, make sure when obviously you do use these chains you tick them off afterwards okay so I'm just going to untick that and I'm going to put some additional steps in here so I'm going to pull this up here and I'm going to pull this cap down as well now at the moment if I was to play this if I just green tick it and then I have a look at my explode step here and at the moment it's exploded I can actually right click on this and collapse it and go back to and my normal view. But you can also animate these explodes. If I go and animate here, you'll then explode it in the way that, uh, in the order that I actually did it when I was creating it. Now actually maybe I want these clips here to come out before these areas of the bowl and the, uh, the reflector and things like this. So what I can do is if I go right click on the actual explode and go edit feature, I can then move these by dragging them into the tree and I'm just going to drop them above my chain explode which was these areas here and you'll see now if I was to collapse this again and then go animate explode you'll see that they should come out first before there you go before the actual um, before those areas do there okay so that's how that's how they work alright and again just remember when you're done you can actually collapse it there thanks for watching